tell, tell, tell me what you got here. And, and this is what we're going to finish sawing the lumber with, what we're going to saw lumber with. This is a Norwood sawmill that I bought off a guy that had bought it off another guy. And apparently the first fella that bought it didn't really catch on to how to put it together. And I'm just guessing now, this is my theory, that uh, it buffaloed him, it whipped him. So he gave it up and he sold it to this other guy and this other guy let the same thing happen to him. He never figured out how it worked. I brought it home. This mill was set up as designed to only cut 12 foot lumber. I brought it home just built a new frame for it. And I used their old frame for the bunks to hold the logs on. I made a few more minor changes. This is a good sawmill. I got no problem with Norwood sawmill for the money. Uh, I don't think he'd beat them for the money. Now this is a hard working mill as far as the man working it. The man working this mill is going to have to work because it's all, there's no hydraulics, nothing on it. Uh, I made the log rollers. Come around here, Josh. Everything that's green is what I made. I made the things to pick it up where I can level my log and so on and so forth. I got a electric winch that I bought from Harbor Freight for 50 bucks that I used to roll my logs with if I got a log that's too big. It cut 16 foot lumber, and it does a great job. That's the lumber that we were looking at a while ago, and that's what we're going to build the, the cabins with. And I'm going to saw all those logs up that we were looking at with this mill. And you got it set up so you can tow it anywhere? Tow it up a pickup, yeah. Portable? It's, uh, it's, uh, it, yeah, it's a portable sawmill. Yeah. I got the guard off the blades. I got the blades in the shop. I have learned to sharpen my blades myself with a Dremel tool. It's slow, but it's $18 an hour. So I can sharpen one in less than an hour. That's 18 bucks, and it does good. I've tried them after I've sharpened them, and they do really well. This stuff so, you know, it's a, it's a neat little deal. It works. So you fabricated this trailer up all by yourself? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kate, well, Kate, Kate helped me. My yep. wife helped me. <laughs> you know, but yeah, yeah, and that's a lot of trial and error. This is, uh, these rails here are old pallet racks that they use in, in industry. Yeah. That's a boxed. Steel, it's thin steel. I don't know. It's probably 16 gauge or or 14. It, it's a it's a thin steel, and I just went ahead and tacked it on up, and then I put a new rail on top to, to put the rollers on and all. And uh, I done some changing on these guides and all. Uh, I took away the steel and put in aluminum over here and, and right here and all, and uh, you know, little stuff like that. Now, when you hook up the winch, where does it go? Right here? It drops in that slot right there. Or, or Oh, any of the ends? It's a pole. It's okay. A, it's a pipe pole with an electric winch on it. Yeah. And I just use it to roll the log. Cool. At 50 bucks, I'm hauling a couple extra pulleys on it. Let it pull it. It pull. And you got it set up with lights so you can tow it somewhere? Well, I ain't got it hooked up. This trailer I took, the guy had it. When he went to under it, but it was too narrow, and I had to cut the axle and widen it out, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Diff stuff like that. But it works. That's works cool. great. I'm real pleased. 16 with horsepower it. Vanguard. Yeah. That's a cheap thing. You can go to Harbor Freight and get another one of them for less than $400. 22 horse. Less than $400. But that one works fine. It's, it's done a great job. Cool. This thing solves the lumber true, smooth. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but, uh, but it's probably not I got time. Cost a bed. It's just somewhere in your body.